So in this particular session, we are going to discuss what is meant by database. Now, first of all, we will see what is by database. So database, it is an organized collection of structured information in a computer. So everywhere in daily life, we are using a computer and database is nothing but it is an organized collection of structured information. In a structured way, you can store the information in the computer that is called as a database. Now, database is a collection of, it is also a collection of interrelated data used for retrieving, updating or deleting data efficiently. So, in case of database, you are storing a data and that data is interrelated data. You can retrieve, means you can retrieve this data, you can uh, update anything into that data easily, you can delete data efficiently. So, that is nothing but the database is a collection of interrelated data used for retrieving, updating or deleting data efficiently. Now, database is controlled by database management system. So, the database is, is nothing but a storage and that storage is managed by or controlled by the database management system. The DBMS or you can say database management system can handle the database for proper functioning or for a proper handling of the data. Now, where the database is used? As I have told, we are using computers, mobile phones everywhere and we are using many applications, many softwares. So, most of the places, most of the places they are using the database to store, store some information. So, here are the some examples where the database is used. Well, first example is school or college database. So, school or college database it is nothing but like ERP system. So, where you are storing a data, a student data, uh, the student's name, surname, his contact number, his uh, address, email address, uh, fee structure. So, many things they are storing in the school or college database. So, that is nothing but the first thing where we are using the database. Those are some examples of database where we are using. Second example is the bank database, where the bank is storing the customer details, customer transactions, customer savings, uh, loan uh, details. So, all the details are stored in the a bank. So, that is nothing but a bank database. Another database is hospital database. So, in hospital database, hospital is storing uh, the patient data, patient record uh, with the name, surname, contact number, email ID, the problem issues with the patient, which are the uh, medicines given to the patient. So, such type of database will be controlled by the as a hospital database. Now, another database is reservation system database. So, we are reserving our ticket or we are booking our ticket online. So, that transactions are all the things are stored in a database so that you can say as a reservation system database so most of the application most of the uh, softwares they are using the database also here is one example of library database so in library database uh, the book details are stored in the library as well as the uh, user of the library his data his information is stored also what are the transactions done by that user so, that is everything is stored in the database. So, that is nothing but a library database. So, those are some examples where we are using a database, but uh, in daily life, we are using at multiple locations. The data without database, the software, uh, you cannot imagine the software. Um, means most of the 90% of uh, applications, they are using the database. Now, what are different types of databases? So, there are uh, majorly, uh, I have given the few database types, there are many types of databases. The first type of database is relational database. Second type of database, it is a distributed database. Then third type of database, it is a cloud database. And fourth type of database is no SQL database. So, what are the types of it? What is meant by a relational database? What is meant by a distributed database? What is meant by a cloud database? And what is meant by no SQL database? So, we'll begin with the relational database. So, in case of relational database, the database, the data in this database, the data is organized in a table format in the rows and columns. So, the data is stored in terms of table, in terms of rows and columns. So, that is called as relational database. Another type of database that is nothing but distributed database. So, distributed, word distributed means at multiple places. So, if the database is stored at multiple locations, multiple computers, that is called as distributed database. Now, the third type of database is cloud database. 
if the structured or unstructured data what is my structured data uh, i will give you example of library where the uh, books are uh, arranged in a structured format in uh, means the proper format uh, properly those books are arranged in the bookshelves but in our home it is not properly organized so that is unstructured what is the structured and unstructured so you can identify the difference between them so structured or unstructured data resides on public or private cloud computing platform then that database is called as cloud database now next type of database it is a no sql database so this no sql database it allows unstructured or semi structured database to be stored so no sql will give you the facility to store unstructured or semi structured data that is nothing but a no sql database now what do we mean by database management system we have seen what is a data database we have to discuss what is by database management system so the system which handles the database properly that will be called as database management system so it is a technology solution database management system it is nothing but a technology solution which is used to optimize and manage the storage and retrieve data from the database so it will give you solution to manage or optimize and manage the storage how to store it properly and how to retrieve data properly from the database so that is nothing but a function of the database management system so there are many examples of dbms or you can say database management systems but here are the few which are most popular you can have mysql database uh, then you have ms access database then oracle so those are some properly uh, or those are some popular database management systems